Hi, this is Erling with Travel Trail Sail. We're excited because we got a pair of kayaks. Now we need to find a way to take them with us. So we're adding a rack to the back of our truck. When Judy and I started camping, we bought a Ram pickup as our tow vehicle, and it's really worked out well. One of the first things we did to accessorize it was to add an access roll cover over the bed, and that's held up really well. But it is starting to show some signs of age. So as part of this truck rack project, I'm actually going to replace the roll cover and then add an Adirac rack. Now they're both made by the same company, AgriCover, which is in Jamestown, North Dakota. So let's go ahead and get started. A roll cover is pretty easy to use. Let me show you. When you need to get something out of the bed of your truck, you simply pull down on a strap, it releases the cover, and allows you to roll it back. The cover is held on by a series of clamps, and each clamp has a D-ring, handy for tying things down. To do the replacement project, we really only need two tools, a half-inch wrench and a clamp. First step, let's remove the clamps. I removed the adjusting lever, and that means that the cover is now loose. I'm going to go ahead and take it off, and we'll add the new one. I laid out the old and the new cover. You have to move the bows, or middle bars, the front bar, as well as the rear bar and latch. The front bar didn't want to come out, so I actually had to cut it off. But the rear bar and latch, I simply removed, slid it out, and slid it onto the new cover. There we go. The storage strap snaps into place. It secures the cover when it's rolled up. Part of this project is to replace the hook and loop, or Velcro. It runs along the side rails and it helps keep the tarp secured. You can see that it's actually kind of worn out here, so I do need to replace it. And when I ordered the replacement cover, I ordered the hook and loop as well. It comes on a plastic strip, so I need to slide out the old one, slide in the new, and that's how we'll replace the hook and loop. The hook and loop didn't slide out nicely, but it did come out. I used clamps to hold the side rails in place and then secured them. Finally, I replaced the tensioners and adjusted the tension. I got the new access roll cover installed. That project was maybe a medium difficulty. It worked fairly well, transferring the old parts to the new cover and putting it on. And now it looks great. It's, it's tight, almost like brand new. Next up, time to put on the truck rack. The roll cover part of the project is complete and it looks great. So today we're going to go ahead and add the rack. You might notice it's a little colder today, had to throw on a hat, but it's all right, we're gonna get the project done. I've got the uh, parts kind of pre-staged and ready to go. I've got the bed rails here. It comes with some plates and washers that you drop into the stake pockets and a bolt with a washer to hold them on. You might notice I've actually got some extra components. I bought a couple of optional kits. Uh, on the side rails here will be the tie downs. Uh, and then on the crossbars, I've got some cleats installed just to help hold those kayaks that we're hoping to bring along. To prep for the rack, you have to cut out the plastic covers over the stake pockets. I'm not sure we'll need it, but I put some blue tape down to help protect the new cover and the rest of the plastic as I cut out the stake pocket. You can use a utility knife to remove the plastic. Just dough 
the state pocket is smaller than the marked area. I had installed bowl rings for tie downs. They didn't come out easily, so I cut a slot in the top of the screw and then used a screwdriver to remove. Next up, I have to put the rails on the side of the bed of the truck. So I've got these rails. They have a slot in them that lines up with the stake pockets. We need to make sure they don't go too far forward or back. And then what we'll do is put these washers down into the stake pocket. So that's what's next. I've got the front rack installed. Now I'm adding the rear rack. The side posts bolt into sliding nuts in the side rails. All right, got the rear uprights and crossbars on. Now what I'm gonna do is make sure that the cleats are positioned and tighten those down. Great progress. Last step, put on the end caps. I've got the new roll cover and rack installed. Can't wait to give them a try. We'll get some kayaks on there, head out camping, and be able to do some paddling this summer. Really appreciate you joining us on Travel Trail Sail. Can't wait to see you next time. Thanks.